This is how I animate 10 times more efficiently in DaVinci Resolve. Well, maybe not 10 times, but it's definitely a lot more efficient. So I built a tool called Motioner. If you have seen a few of my previous videos, you have probably seen me mention it a few times already. Now I've been working on this motion graphics video for these. And let's take a look at these animations that I create. It's still a first draft, rough draft. So there's still a few things that I need to polish, obviously. But let me show you how what the concept behind this is. My first theory was that, okay, I think using the transitions method might be a little bit faster to render or pre-render or cache than using normal fusion effect. And it's a little bit faster to adjust the duration and the way that things work. So I put together this tool for that. And here you can see me mix a few different things. We, we first have this first text effect. The idea is this, we have our text right here and I simply use the cropping tool right here to separate each text layer. It's the same text in the three copies, right? And then I just added the same transition preset to all of them. Now here we can see it working like that. And the cool thing here is that if you want to modify anything or add any other animation, you can actually just toggle the buttons right here. In here, for example, the glow, if it is a little bit too much right here, you can actually decrease the size so it's not so it's not as noticeable, right? So you have the option to customize this. And then you just simply copy and paste that to the other elements, and then you have this sort of like smooth apple type animation. Another cool thing here is that you can right click and then just create a transition preset. So that way you can use these on a similar project. Let's say you have a client and you want the same transitions on all of their videos. All you have to do is create a transition preset. And what I would recommend that you do is add the client's name right here because there isn't a way to organize the user safe presets in the transitions section up here yet, at least, but maybe in the future there will be. So it's super easy to save more copies if you want. And another cool thing is here we have these three elements, but then I said, okay, I want to add an other extra touch of animation to these elements. And you cannot stack more than one transition. And that's why all the buttons right here are for the effects so that you can stack more multiple effects in one thing, right? So what you have to do now is you just create a common clip of the element or a fusion clip, both of those work. And then you can add another preset or just another motion or base and create your animation from there. In this case, we use this one called scale fade, which comes by default with these scale animation and the fade animation. But then I just adjusted a little bit of the sizing of it as well so that it doesn't start as small, right? So if I were to start it right here, it will start really small. I just wanted it to have sort of like smooth movement, right? And then it keeps coming in until we have these like fade out transition or slide up. But this one wasn't slide up. I actually put this slide up first, but then I decided, okay, I want to actually have these to be a horizontal one. So I turned off the vertical slide, as you can see right here. And then I just simply turned on the horizontal slide. And I did that because on this one, the text is all animating from the side. As you can see right here, if I open these one called second text, Following the same concept, we have the text sliding from the right. I got something in my throat. I, I think I'm getting sick. I don't know. So I can't speak too much. So yeah, that is the concept. I, I wish I could speak more right now, but my throat is it's killing me. And then I follow the same concept again, adding a little bit of a movement so that these continuously move towards the left. As you can see right here, it keeps moving until we have this rotation that makes it smaller. Now this transition, I need to work a little bit more on this one, I think, because I'm not entirely happy with it yet. But yeah, that is the concept. And I did something similar here for the keyframes, but this one is a little bit more complicated. And I'm actually recording the whole process of while I'm experimenting and building the animations with the motioner tool. And that's going to be a longer video because it's a little bit more slow pace and just experiment type of video. But I will let you know when that is up. Now, if you want to get this tool, there's two options right now. You can get the base or you can get Motion or Max, which right now has 98 presets that you can check out and use on your videos and also has the Motion or Animate, which is the tool to animate the same element between two points. <coughs>
So I do have a short video where I explain how Animate works a little bit better. So I'm going to link that in the description if you want to check that out as well. So go to the Solidity website and find the Motion or Toolkit if you want to animate things a lot more efficiently in DaVinci Resolve. I'll see you in the next one. Here's Ali. Bye.